Hello YouTube subscribers and fans and welcome to the first part of Let's Play Velvet Assassin. My name is Edifos and I am going to be the, uh, I think it's a British agent, I think her name is, um, I don't know, I think her name is Velvet, I haven't played this in a while so I don't really um, remember what her name is. So I'm actually going to do normal uh, difficulty because this game is actually very uh, difficult for me. Uh, it's it's uh, definitely going to be a uh, an event for me so let's get started with the first cutscene hope you guys enjoy this be sure to subscribe to my channel for more playthroughs of Velvet Assassin I long to be back in the war. That was my true home. We were inhuman beings. Butchers on a field full of corpses. Corrupt and depraved. Only some of viscera blood and bone. Creatures without souls. Right, that's going to be the first cutscene of Velvet Assassin. Um, so, just to give you guys a little history background, actually, uh, this uh, spy is actually a historical figure, if I if my if my sources are correct. But the the irony of this is this spy actually uh, died <laughs> on her uh, first mission. Um, so, but however, in this case, we will not. Um, Hopefully not die on our first mission. So, memories of the first mission. I was flown back to France to blow up a gigantic fuel depot, which the Germans had built in a bunker on the Maginot Line. Reich was running out of oil. They guarded every barrel like the crown jewels. The main entrance was secured like the fear's bunker. Fortunately, every rat's nest has a second entrance. I had to try and find it. I jumped over a wooded area that bordered on the rear of the complex. Unfortunately, my equipment was stuck at the top of a blasted tree during the landing. To make matters worse, I saw that the area was guarded by Buffum SS troops. Those units had one basic rule. Take no prisoners. Exactly like me. Alright guys, here we go. The first mission. Find the entrance to the bunker. Just going to be a warning to you guys. This game is especially hard for me. Um, Although I do like to be a ninja and sneak around and stuff and not be spotted, there are certain times that I I get caught. <laughs> so, um, but in this game, it's very realistic. Um, if you're caught and you get shot, there's very very slim chance of escape. 
Uh, it's all about manipulation of the shadows and not being found. And what I'm trying to do, there it is. What I'm trying to do is there's these certain objects out in the field like this, like you the collectible, and they're hidden all across the field. Now, as you can see, I did gain XP. There is a RPG system within this game. Um, basically, you just sneak around and you can get experience points, and at the end of the mission, you can upgrade skills, just like I said in that tip point that just uh, was on the top of the screen. So there is type of a leveling up system in this game, which makes it really interesting, apart from Splinter Cell. But as you can see, we're actually going through a memory of what our first mission So She's already successfully accomplished this mission. We are just reliving her past and going back in the past and replaying it. two Germans right there. I had to wait until they separated. successful at this game you must hide these bodies because if a body is spotted it will make them alert and they will alert the entire base that you're actually there so if there's any type of spotting of a dead body you or any type of suspicious activity the entire uh, base or the mission that you'll be working on will be alerted to your presence and uh, it kind of sucks because it makes it rather difficult to sneak up on um, a lot of German guards. So as you can see, I put the body in the bushes and um, that guy actually cannot see <laughs> uh, his friend. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, attempt to sneak up on him. I don't know. I don't think. Yeah, we don't have enough distance to sneak up on him on the back. So I'm going to try to get as close as I can and get him when he tries to patrol back. Alright, so there's the German entrance, what it looks like. So we're getting close. Some spark over here, let's go check this out. Alright, so in morphine mode, um, as you can tell, our character is actually addicted to it, <laughs> in a sense. Uh, but in morphine mode, it actually uh, stops time uh, in a time frame just for a second. And also, if if I were to try to sneak in, and right now the way it is, that guy will spot me, period. It doesn't matter what I do. So, 
you cannot do any killing stabs from the back, or excuse me, from the front at all. I don't know why. So in morphine mode, as I will show you here, you can actually sneak in, stab them from the front, and it actually take them out. So as you can see, we killed all enemies uh, silently, unlocked the door, and the mission has been accomplished. So I'm going to go ahead and try to fit two missions into this playthrough. Well, hopefully I can fit that many. So the next mission is going to be the Lost Fuel Storage. The first step was done. I was finally in the bunker. The fuel depot was certain to be in the lowest level to protect it from bombing raids. The mishap with my lost equipment would not stop me, but without explosive charges, the situation was hopeless. But the Germans were sure to have explosives stored somewhere in the bunker. Soon they would see what they were good for. A German fuel depot and an explosive charge sounded like a very promising combination. The problem was I had to be back outside before this rendezvous developed chemistry. Okay, it doesn't sound like we're gonna a good like situation. Morphine, and now we have XP. I don't know if we have enough to level up just now. <clears throat> but we are heading into the into the bunker, and well, it ought to be littered with Germans. But here's our first one. <laughs> not commentating a whole lot because I want everyone to listen to the ambience in this like it's really spooky it's kind of like it's almost kind of like amnesia it's uh, not as scary as amnesia but it keeps you on your toes so that's why I'm not commentating a whole lot okay now the objective is I don't know if he can see us in that light but if he can we're kind of screwed so but I think we'll be okay So it looks like that's going to be the kill point right there where he's standing still. So he'll patrol back and we'll hide in this little cubby. Actually, if we're lucky, we may get him just a little bit quicker.
something shiny right there. What is this? Med kit? Nah, we're good. Don't need the med kit. Uh, let's see. I think this must be a checkpoint, so we're free to roof. Oh, there's another med kit. So if you guys would, hmm, I wonder where explosives would be. Let's uh, let's go through this door first. Oh, uh, it looks like we won't be able to go that way. Yeah, we will. Go this way. Careful, broken fragments. Creeping silently over that was impossible. Stepping on class is scary. Alright, uh, let's see. We need to take out those two guards over there. I don't know if we can reach them. Let's, uh, let's bypass them for now. another guy there so I didn't even know it but oh god I'm about to get spotted wow that was close I could make good use of the mask okay I don't see anything else we can loot in this room so let's see if we can take out this other guard. Whoop. Okay, so as you can see, that is the appropriate that is the appropriate use for morphine. Oh god. Okay. Woo! I am shaking up. Alright. Alright, so I have got to get more oh. Yeah, that's convenient. Alright, so I've got more morphine now. So we're in the clear. Um now I've got I've got a gas mask, so I actually need to pick up explosives. So uh, I'm not sure where to go. I think I go back. Yeah, I go back. Let's just go back. So checkpoint, and let's head into um, yeah. Let's head into here since we got a gas mask now. Still need an explosive charge. Okay, so let's try. Ah, I bet there's some explosive charges in here. Let's 
head into this room over here. Okay, there's a German in the bunker. What it appears to be. Um, let's wait and see if he actually makes a move. There is a generator over there in the corner that we can actually take out. Oh, there he is. Alright, let's try to take him out. appears that he's not going to move so we are going to whistle him over This room is clear. So, what's in this room? Okay, there's one in German and there's the other one. I don't know if it would be safe to go through there or not. So, let's go ahead and uh, go through the door that this guy was guarding and we'll see what's going on in here. Okay, so we got two Germans. Use the shadow of this big fan to walk through and go over here. I guess that dude's got a health kit on him, but we don't need it. Alright, we're gonna take this guy out too. No prisoners. We'll wait and see where he can get a permanent spot. Use the Phantom Shadow to get to him, and he's gone.
got one in the room. This is going to be kind of tricky. So I don't see any glass panels on the ground, so let's go ahead and as soon as that light Warning. goes off... The door was electrified. I definitely had to turn off the power first. Yeah, looky there. <laughs> oh, I didn't show him. Oh. Alright, so let's see. We gotta turn electricity off first. And there's that room we were actually just viewing. And um, I'm not sure how we're going to get the first guy because there is light in this room and that guy can see that guy. So those two are both connected. Um, so... Oh! Yeah, that's going to be... It'll be quite difficult. Let's try again. over here we could jump. I wonder if we can jump this fence. Oh, oh there's a med kit in there though. Not technically um, stealthy, but it gets the job done. Oh, I see. So, we should have came from this room and shut Devil's Blinds down, but, um, oh well. I like taking the harder at the things I guess all right so can we climb those stairs yeah there we go Before we hit the switch, let's go pick up the med kit over here. Now we're full health. So let's just climb open the fence. Very nice. Pick up that explosives. And is that all in this room we pick up? Yeah. Alright, so we got the explosives now. So let us make our way to the gas chambers and open or blow up this joint. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is um, 
when we get into the gas chamber, uh, you guys have seen her assassination so far. However, in the gas chamber, it's rather interesting. And I played through this mission, or uh, mission, just to uh, get a few uh, feel of the game and uh, know how to play it and such. And um, it's it's quite it's quite interesting. Her assassinations. I won't spoil it for you. I'll just get to the part where she uh, does them, so you can see for yourself firsthand uh, how uh, creative the uh, creators of the game got with this. So I think I do give them props for that. So what's uh what's up here? There's another door. I don't know where it goes though. It looks like it leads to an abandoned part of the bunker. But is there anything in here useful? I'll take that as a no. So we have a med kit. We do need to pick up some morphine, which there's some right there. Okay, so now we have our uh, oh crap button <laughs> ready. Um, let's see. So we need to enter the in here now. So let this proceed. We are almost done. I believe. locked from the other side. Alright, here we go. That was the fuel depot. The room was full of poisonous fumes. In addition, there were explosive barrels everywhere. The firearms were used, everything could go up in a bang. Now I had to find the right place for the bomb. Ein ausgemeiner Dieb! Meine Güte, fängst du schon wieder an? Ein gottverdammter Dieb bist du. Den eigenen Kameraden und Waffenbruder bestehlen, das ist das Letzte. Mann, jetzt hör aber mal auf. Ich hab gar nichts geklaut. Lügner, du hast von meiner Schokolade gegessen. Du Dieb! Vielleicht ist es ja der Obersturmbahnführer gewesen. Ha, von wegen. Du hast wohl gedacht, ich merke das nicht, was? Aber da hast du falsch gedacht. Du Scheißdieb! Ja, halt doch endlich die Klappe! Hast du sonst keine anderen Sorgen? Trink dir lieber ein und lass mich zufrieden. Auch noch frech werden, was? Jetzt gib mir sofort meine Schokolade zurück, du verdammter Dieb! Kannst du nicht ein einziges Mal Ruhe geben? Da kommt einem ja der Kaffee hoch. Du bist der letzte Dreck. Ein asoziales Element. Ich werde Meldung machen beim SD. Die werden dich an die Wand stellen. Mensch, bot mich doch nicht an, wenn du mit mir sprichst, du Arsch! Kannst du nicht die Rotze der Presse lassen beim Reden? Ja, du Saboteur! Ich werde Meldung machen. Gleich nach meiner Schicht. Schokolade klauen. Das gleich Hochverrat. Du wirst schon sehen. Weißt du was? Du kannst dir deine Schokolade in den Arsch schieben. Dann wird das hier zu blöd. Ich geh wieder. Tickst du nicht ganz richtig. Oh, that's gotta suck. Alright guys, we'll be right back. Lass mich zufrieden. Auch noch frech werden, was? Jetzt gib mir sofort meine Schokolade zurück, du verdammt. I think we have cleared the gas room, and uh, let's see, oh, let me do that, let's 
push this box over here, get up the staircase, plant the explosives, and we are out of here. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of part one of Velvet Assassin. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Stay tuned for the next part.